my name is Micah. I'm here with uh, my team from Cambridge, where we all study together uh, in the um, We're here today uh, not just for competition, but we're here because, uh, and we're, we're participating in this, because we fundamentally want to find innovative solutions to the problems of energy access in Africa and in ways that are truly empowering. So, first thing, oh, do I have a clicker? Okay, the first thing is, is that we know what the challenge is, we know what the problem is. It's kerosene lighting. It's dirty, it's dangerous, and it's expensive. But I don't want to be here today to talk to you about what the problem is. I want to talk to you about what the opportunity is. And that opportunity is to take two existing but new technologies, pay as you go solar and mobile banking, and combine them in a transformative model that will enable the delivery of solar, electric, and power systems on, and, and light systems in the ground in Africa in rural areas. So the first technology I want to talk to you about is pay as you go solar. It basically looks like a home lighting system. It connects a small powerful light through a control box. When the user wants to use the system, they punch in a code that they receive by text message after approving payment, which turns on for a period of time. After a week, it turns off until the user decides that they want to use it again, in which they have to do the same thing. This is clearly a step change from the that, uh, that is out there, like this solar lantern that Steffi used when she lived in Uganda. <laughs> and not only that, but this system will also charge your mobile phone. The big thing about pay-as-you-go is that pay-as-you-go is the current way that households in rural Africa pay for kerosene and mobile charging right now. And our model is not only reflective of that, that same model, but it's also substantially cheaper, this system. So, that's the first technology. The second Excuse technology that I'm talking about resolver is app. mobile banking. Right now, mobile banking is experiencing explosive growth in East Africa. Oh, sorry. Mobile banking typically moves money, cash, from the city through the system to, to a mobile banking agent in a rural area who pays out cash to households who are able to then spend it on the goods that they need. But this agent has a problem. The problem is that they're constantly paying out cash, and they need to go get more cash from the nearest city in order to, to continue to have it. Thus, thus spending resources and time uh, on doing that and maintaining their business. And this has been identified as the constraint limiting the continued growth of mobile banking in Africa. So, what is the opportunity? The opportunity is to take the first technology, pay as you go solar, and combine with the second technology, M banking, in a concept that we're calling empowered. What it does is it allows a payment, a, a weekly payment of pay as you go solar, an easy way, overcomes the barrier, the fundamental barrier to the growth of mobile banking in a way that reflects the current payment model, it respects consumer choice and consumer preferences. And it also leverages existing networks and existing technologies. So what is this transformative model and how would it work? So it's based on two partnerships. Based on two partnerships. The first partnership is over here with the mobile banking agent network, and the second with the supplier, in order to deliver systems to households across rural Africa. So let's focus on the first partnership with the mobile banking agent network. Currently in Kenya, there are almost 30,000 mobile banking agents that exist. Many of these mobile banking agents have other businesses as well, and they're also trusted by the communities in order to deliver, uh, in order to deliver uh, banking services. Uh, Sunny Money would select a subset of these mobile banking agents and train them to become Sunny Money agents, mostly in rural areas. These would be responsible for marketing and installing the systems to, to households that purchase them with, for a small upfront deposit as well as a weekly top-up fee, as we were describing earlier. The Sunny Money agent would then be responsible for maintaining the system as well as processing the payment on a weekly basis using their currently existing, uh, currently existing role as a mobile banking agent. So why do we think that mobile banking agents of the 30,000 will be tripping over themselves to become Sony Money agents. Well, because it's profitable. They make money through the upfront installation, as well as make money from an ongoing small percentage of the top-up fee. 
thus giving them both the incentive as well as the resources to be able to maintain the systems in the field. They also get an increased customer base for the mobile banking system because now you have to have mobile banking to be able to pay for your electricity bill. And it also solves their fundamental problem with cash flow by instead of having money always moving from the city to the rural area, starting to make that a two-way flow. The second partnership that I want to talk to you about is the one with the supplier. And the unique element about this is that Sunny Money would pay for the, the product from the supplier to a structured payment mechanism when it arrives in Africa. So a small fee over a course per unit over a course of a period of time. And then the supplier would take a financial loan and secure it by the guaranteed set of payments that will come over time from Sunny Money. This frees Sunny Money to concentrate on the logistics of distribution from the port to the agents, as well as marketing and promotion, managing the agent network, as well as managing their own financial risk. So that's the basic model. So let's talk about how we're going to enhance that basic model. There's two ways. The first way is, is that there's a risk aversion to the product, despite the fact that the product is both better and cheaper. So we'll take two things. One is if the consumer ever decides that they don't want to use the product, they can return it and get their deposit back. And the second is that we'll provide them with a warranty that can be implemented easily because they have a Sunny Money agent in their community. The product will then be brought back through to Sunny Money, who will then refurbish the product if it's necessary, and then return the product to be used by households. The second element of enhancement is Sunny Money Points, or Sunny Points. These Sunny Points accumulate with weekly top-ups. And those sunny points can be used for a couple of different options. They can buy out the system so they no longer need to pay for electricity. They can upgrade the system so that they can have more lights in more rooms and do more things. And finally, there's, they can have a community benefit, pooling their sunny, money benefit, their, sunny, their sunny points with their neighbors in order to do something for the community. They put a solar panel on their local school. This really is a partnership for success. Households get lower expenses and better lighting. The M-Banking agent network gets, uh, gets to solve their fundamental problem. The supplier gets increased, uh, increased sales at a lower financial risk. And the, uh, and the Sunny Money gets a distribution network as well as access to an aspirational product rather than just replacing the product that people already have. It's also a sustainable model. It's economically sustainable because it has a win for all parties. It's socially sustainable because we've baked that into the core of the model. And it's environmentally sustainable, and this is unique to many other solutions related to solar energy. It's environmentally sustainable because we will not leave at the end of product life products discarded all across Africa. And we'll instead have built in bringing it back to the central to ensure the responsible environmental disposal. And, uh, and refurbishment of those products. We also can implement this, this fairly easily. We have a roadmap for implementation. Let's take Kenya, for example. In Kenya, there are 28,000 mobile banking agents, and Sunny Money would engage in a continuous selection and training program. We'd only have to train approximately 30 per working day in order to develop a network of agents, and those agents would only have to sell approximately six units per month, which is approximately 2% of their current mobile banking customer base in order to deliver by the end of 2013, in 18 months, 450,000 systems in Kenya alone. Now if we can replicate this model in the other four countries, just the other four countries, uh, other three countries that Sunny Money currently operates in, we would easily be able to reach 1 million, uh, 1 million product sold. But this also ends up with a system and a model that is both profitable and scalable so that Sunny Money would be able to reach the goal of eliminating kerosene across Africa. This is also feasible, and it's feasible and doable <coughs> today. It uses existing products with existing networks. It's also financially viable, and Sunny Money would end up being profitable by about month 9 or 12 based on our financial modeling, and would require only approximately $300,000 to cover the initial losses. We believe in this model, and others that we've talked to also believe in this model. I started with the kerosene lamp, and I want to finish with this. 
We can replace kerosene lamp across Africa with electric power and light. And it is possible. And when we do that, we can truly leave Africa empowered. Thank you very much. We're ready to take your questions.